my name is David Stember, and I'm here for 350 Vermont. We're a statewide chapter of 350.org, working internationally for climate change. And we are here primarily today to talk about the tar sand. We are here because the, they're trying to reverse a pipeline in a piecemeal fashion across Canada and through Quebec from, from Montreal to Portland, Maine where it will go on to uh, ships and be shipped out of the United States. Here in Vermont, we are defending our democracy against the Entergy Corporation. The people of Vermont have spoken and want our Fukushima-style reactor in Vernon, Vermont, shut down and shut down now. My name's Emily, and I'm here representing Fed Up Vermont. <laughs> I'm from the Will Miller Green Mountain chapter. Will Miller Green Mountain chapter of Veterans for Peace here in Vermont. Because uh, it's the military industrial complex that's behind all of this. The demand for energy, the demand for new aircraft costing billions of dollars. We are planning an action, hands across New Hampshire, as a way to show solidarity against Hydro-Quebec and Northeast Utilities. You will not destroy our homes, our farms, our lands, the White Mountain National Forest, or the Appalachian Trail for your corporate greed. There have been, there have been two referendums uh, in the community uh, where, the, where the community has voted against Hydro-Quebec, uh, and they've gone ahead and continued with the project regardless. Nous voulons Travailler avec tout le peuple québécois, le peuple américain, toutes les autres peuples qui viennent pour la défense du territoire. We are calling on the Québécois people, the American people, and all other people that have come here today or um, to, uh, to, uh, to help defend the earth. Uh, because right now, because right now, Mother Earth is sick. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know.
sommes ici parce que Jean Charest est à une conférence, Jean Charest, le premier ministre du Québec, est à une conférence des premiers ministres des, des, de l'Est du, du Canada. Et yeah. le carré rouge English, uh, est un symbole au Québec pour uh, appuyer les étudiants qui font uh, against, la um, the, uh, increasing of tuition fees for the university. So uh, we are here in solidarity with them and uh, in solidarity with all people who, who try to have a, 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 a world of justice, I would say. Okay. The reality of pipelines going through our communities. That's the reality of the human oil spill. That's the reality of the oil spill that the human oil spill is depicting. And we had last week across the country for the anniversary, the two-year anniversary of Kalamazoo, there were actions all across the country, uh, about 25 of them, uh, Toronto, uh, uh, Seattle, all up through Quebec, all through Nebraska, Texas, Vermont, Maine. There were individual groups that came forward and said, we are the Kalamazoo. We have a pipeline going through our community, and we don't want it here. Hello, everybody. I'm just going to say, uh, a few short words. Uh, my name is Chloe Maxman. I'm 20 years old. I'm going to be a sophomore at Harvard College. And this microphone has some issues. All right, behind the speaker. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be a sophomore at Harvard College. I'm a Mainer, and I've been an environmental activist since I was 12 years old. And Maine's thank you. Maine's beauty and purity is what first inspired me to become an environmentalist in the first place. And I'm really scared that my children and grandchildren won't be able to feel that same sense of connection and passion. And sometimes life puts us in situations that we never expected to be in. For example, the fishermen and women in the Gulf Coast never expected to be some of the most outspoken critics of the BP oil spill. And the residents of the Kalamazoo River never expected to be the poster child for the largest inland oil spill in history. My new generation never expected that we were going to be on the front lines of climate change, the greatest threat that humanity has ever known. And we never expected that we were going to be one of the last links between Alberta's tar sands and the global market. So just like the people in the Gulf Coast and the residents of Kalamazoo and my generation have risen and are rising to fight these challenges, we too are called upon to protect what we know and what we love. And I just wanted to end with a little quote. This is the only black shirt that I own, but I thought it was very apropos because it has a quote from the Blues Brothers on it. And it says, you can't stop us, we're on a mission from the gods. And that's what we're doing here today. By the summer of 2012, there is nothing abstract about any of this. We are already seeing what the early stages of climate change look like, what it means to raise the temperature of a planet. And we've only raised the temperature one degree so far. The same scientists who told us that this would happen tell us that if we keep burning things the way they're burning them now, the time the younger people at this rally are the age of some of us, the temperature will be four or five degrees higher. And there is no way for us to cope with that as civilizations. And so we have got, finally, to put a stop to some of this. And it is why people are really starting to come together. When we talk about a pipeline for tar sands down across New England, these guys will have no idea what they've bitten off if they try to do this across New England. If the people, if the people of Nebraska are not going to stand still to watch a pipeline put across their land, then the people of Vermont and Maine and New Hampshire and Eastern Canada are sure as hell not going to stand for it. Um, I'm definitely not going to stand for it. Um, we are really going to stop this thing in its tracks, and that starts today with this action out in front of the Hilton in a few minutes. We're going to have to deal with every pipeline and every coal mine and every fracking well and, 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 and so on. But we're not going to stop climate change one pipeline at a time either. We're also going to have to take on the heart of the fossil fuel industry itself and really begin to do some trouble, some damage for them. Exxon announced its quarterly profit last week. They made $15 billion in profit last week. And here's, I think at this point, my bottom line about all this is, if they're going to take away our planet 
and they're going to take away our future, then we're going to take away their money. I can tell you, you have lots and lots and lots of brothers and sisters all over the planet, some of them in places that did nothing to cause this problem, but all of them, all of them willing to fight. We're up against more money than there's ever been. We're not going to win with money. We're going to find different currencies, the ones we have here today, passion and spirit and creativity, and sometimes we're going to have to spend our bodies. And that's okay. That's what we can bring, and we're going to find out if it's enough, and we're going to find out shoulder to shoulder. Or in our voices. That's the voice of your song, singing. So even though it feels like you've sung it already enough, keep singing it. It doesn't have to be loud. Just keep contributing your voice to the whole. And that's where the magic happens. That's where change happens. This land was made. 